So here's one of the new builds we've been working on. So this is a classic cargo bike, the Yuba Mundo Mundo. They're famous all over the world for being very reliable, very strong cargo bikes. And we can see, uh, you know, we've gone for the bright orange color here. We had a guy come to us and he asked us, what's the strongest bike you can build because I want to carry 80 kilograms of tools. And this is kind of what we came up with. So we've got Bruno here who's going to tell us a little bit more about the bike. So, yeah. Br so Bruno, <laughs> Bruno, can you can you tell us some? Um, can you tell us the, the main system? So we've got a rear hub motor on this bike. Yeah, that's actually a really good hub motor. This is a yep. Mac hub motor, very reliable. It's being perfected once again. So this is probably the most so reliable the, hub motor we can get nowadays. The new um, version hub, hey? Yeah, the new version, the latest one. And yep. it, it actually runs really, really well. We're running uh, side to side with the VBS HD. Uh, yeah, it's pretty powerful, torquey. Uh, it's very hard to find a, a, the same performance from like a, a, any other real hub motor. Yeah, and and look, what we've done is we've we've made sure we built it into a really strong rim. We've used a really good tire here, so this is a velocity blunt rim, which are, which are known for being strong, quite expensive, but they are bomb proof. And the marathon tire, so that's a that's also puncture protection. So we but. We basically don't want to be taking the wheel off very often, do we? No, no. But I made sure I picked all some phase wires here. Yep. So, yeah. See, so you can actually undo this with your hands, the cable ties. So you can actually replace the, any flat tire or anything like that. So that's one of the downsides of a, of a rear hub is it's a little bit harder to change the tire and the, and the, and the tube in the rear wheel compared to a mid-drive, of course. Where mid-drive you, is like a normal bike. Where your wheels aren't affected. But can you tell us why one of the reasons why we went for a hub motor in this uh, instance instead of the mid-drive? Well, hub motor is actually really reliable. You don't have one like internal gears. It's actually very simple. So it's just a, like a lower in the maintenance. Like so mid-drive is really torquey, nice, so this, efficient. Just, this, is a, this is a geared hub motor, so it's got planetary planetary gears in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's, it's more torquey and, and better at hill climbing than a direct drive hub. Yeah. Um, so some more things on the bike. So we've got the pedal assist system, which is set up, and we've also got one of the new 12 fet controllers. So it comes with the high go connector. Really yeah, nice. Yeah. So these have all been improved, and, and the, the connectors are now watertight. So much much needed to install, and it's got these glands coming out the rear, which are really heavy duty, and you know should be very watertight. So so also we did on and off switch here on the controller for the light. Yep. On and off here, so it's like the light system for the bike. Yep. See, so like click on off, on off. So we're yeah. just running a six volt light. So what have we got in the battery to run that? Can so you should open we, up the battery. We actually got a battery from Paul M3 V. This boy here. Yeah. Yep. So we're doing some of Paul's packs these days. So that's that's good because they're really good quality. Reliable. The best in the industry we found. So they got cell fuse. Yep. So like it's like the it's ultra high tech. It's almost like a Tesla pack uh, for a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, very high tech, very good build quality. And this is the DC converter, is it? Yeah, so basically we, we're stepping down from 58.8 volts to 6 volts. So this is running the front and rear light. What else uh, can we do? Can we, we can run sort of 12 volt or phone run, charges? Yeah, or? yeah. This, this one's actually pretty, pretty good. It can handle 90 watts. So yep. yeah, it can... Yeah, like USB charger, you can put a like, more powerful light or whatever. Okay. Like a, basically, like any device, it can take six volts. You can put a second one for different voltage, like a motorcycle and light or whatever. The, so this is a 52 volt, 18 amp hour battery. So yeah. that should be plenty of range for uh, a lot of cells inside. The day-to-day -day so riding for, on the bike. So here's the light, it's switched on, it's nice. Uh, and now our control panel, let's have a look at this. So. We're running in remove this thing here. Make cycle nice. analyst, which is a sort of industry standard. Yeah. Okay, so we've got pedal assist and throttle. So we've got three levels here for your So level one, mild. Let's just give it a spin. So that's level one. Yep. There you go, level two. Yep. Level three, yeah! <laughs> so it's generating. You can't really see the speed because the speed is on the front wheel. Yeah, okay, well. You get what, idea. what else? So we're running 21 gears, so I guess the thing with the rear hub is you can keep all 21 gears on the bike, which is nice. You don't lose your front chain ring. 
And you um, don't have that wear on the chain as well. And we've got Tektro Dorado E cutoff brakes, which have really become a, a staple for us in in the majority of builds that we do. Very reliable brake. Um, they stop well and they're easy to maintain. So if you want to jump on the back here, you maybe you can grab the camera. Let's go for a little spin. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Sitting let's here, let's go for a little spin here. Alrighty. You ready? It might not be very comfortable because I'm in the end of the bike here, but. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm 70 something kilos. How long are you? Over the bumps. <laughs> I've got only one hand here. <laughs> Two people here is actually really, really strong. Yeah, the faster. Shut up for me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so this is uh, this is our take on a, a classic cargo bike, and yeah, hope you guys like it. <laughs> oh yeah!